hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a get ready with me i'm about to go to work so i was like you know what why not record so i could talk my shit real quick because i've been having like a lot of different stuff that's on my mind okay so yeah i was like you know what let me turn on this camera so i could talk my shit so first of all let me start off by saying i have been feeling so sick lately and i feel like it's because of the damn weather like i don't understand how it's blazing hot outside like damn near a thousand degrees and just last week it was cold as hell you know what i mean like this weather's crazy and it has me feeling crazy and i don't like that shit. i really don't so if you guys hear me sniffling and stuff throughout the video that's why because i have been feeling super super sick and I can't control it, sorry. Yeah, and I also already did my brows off camera. If you guys wanna know how I do my brows, I will link the video of me doing them in the description bar down below. Bar, bar. I mean box down below. Anyways, um, y'all, I have been feeling super stressed lately trying to balance work and school. Like, damn, I am so tired of doing this shit every day. Like, I, I really am, I'm tired of it and I want to go on another vacation and if you guys didn't know I just well I didn't just go but I went to California not too long ago and I had the time of my life like it was so much fun down there everybody was super relaxed like it was just a fun time and to come back up here to have to go to work and deal with a whole bunch of other stupid bullshit I'm just not happy you know what i mean like i'm not i'm not really into it i'm trying to go on another little vacation i'm tired you know what i mean like it's just a lot y'all it's just a lot and work has me stressed because it's just too much drama i was about to curse but i'm like you know what? it's just too much drama and if you guys didn't know i used to work at sephora so i'm pretty used to working around like a lot of females but i did not like working at sephora because of the aspect that i was working with a lot of girls you know what i mean so i was just always like it was always drama it was always something new every day and i was just not i was just not with it okay i was just not with it and my job now i'm working with all girls again you know what i mean i'm working with all girls again so it's just like oh my god but it's just too much drama and i feel as though at work, we all come there to get money and dip, so I don't understand why there there's drama going on. Like, I don't get it. Like, come on, we all come here for a check and then to go home. I don't understand why I'm hearing, oh, she's talking about you or this is being done. Or, like, girl, I really don't care. Cut me my check so that I can go home. And that's the thing, like. That's just always how I've been when it came to like drama in the workplace. Like I've always been the type to be like, bro, like I come here to get a check and then go home. All that extra stuff, I don't really care for it. But at the end of the day, it's still annoying because I'm at work majority, most of the time. And it's like to be at work and to have to deal with drama is annoying. Nobody wants to come to work and hear about all this bullshit. At least I know I don't, like I'm not for the drama. Cut me my damn check so that I can go home. Thank you. Like, I don't get it. And it's like, I don't know. I'm one of the younger girls at my job too. The type of person I am and my personality is like, I'm nice until you piss me off. Like, I will be the sweetest girl, you know? Like, especially in like a work environment, I'm always nice. Like, I'm always on my best behavior because there's really no reason for me to really act out at work. Like, I feel like it's just dumb. But then when people get me to that point where it's like, okay, now I feel like you playing with me. Now I feel like you're taking my kindness for granted. Now I have to show you that I'm not the one. And that's when I start getting ghetto. That's when I start getting ratchet. And that's when people be like, oh, you know, Chrissy, why are you acting like this? Da -da 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 -da. Like, girl, stop. Cause when I was nice, nobody wanted to listen to me or nobody, you know, like everybody started taking my kindness for granted. So now I have to turn up on everybody. And now everybody all mad and confused and shit. Like, girl, bye. I don't have the time for it. I really don't. And it's crazy because, I don't know. That's just always been how I've been. Even in school, like, in school when there was drama, I 
I don't know, I always try to stay out of it, but somehow I always, always, always end up getting dragged into it. And it was just like, I don't be understanding why or how it be happening, but it's just my damn luck, I guess, but it's whatever. It's honestly whatever. Another thing that I wanted to talk about was, <laughs> bro, like I really be sitting here confused on what to film. Like, I don't be know what I want to film. Sometimes I be coming home from work or school and I'm like, okay, today I'm going to film. And I really be dead ass. I be ready, sitting down, setting up and stuff. But it's like, okay, what are you going to film? You know what I mean? Like, I don't be having no type of direction of what I want to film or what I want to talk about. And it's annoying because I want to put out content. Whoa. <laughs> I want to put out content for you guys, but it's just like, damn, I don't be knowing what kind of content to put out. Like, I was thinking about doing, like, story times from when I was in high school because a lot of bullshit happened to me when I was in high school. But then again, it's like, I don't know. I feel like the story times that I have to put out from when I was in high school is going to start shit. Honestly, it's going to start shit. Because <laughs> I put all of that shit to, to rest, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even be talking about certain shit no more but it's like i feel like if i was to bring it up it would start shit and i ain't trying to start shit you know what i mean i be trying to chill so it's like uh when i think about that i'm like okay you know what maybe i shouldn't post a story time about this certain topic or this certain person but then i got the other side of me that's like girl i don't give a damn like if you feel some type of way about me posting this story time then you just gonna feel some type of way i don't care but I don't know. I'll be thinking. Then I want to do like, sometimes I be want to do like um, hair care videos, you know, like natural curly hair. Speaking of natural curly hair, y'all remember that video that I had posted when I had went to the, to get my diva cut or whatever like that. And I was saying how like I really liked it and I do, don't get me wrong. Like, but after I washed my hair, I kind of seen how it really fell. Like as far as how she cut it and stuff, like how it looked and i don't like the cut it's not that i um, i don't know i really just don't it, it wasn't what i wanted you know what i mean because i wanted i'm gonna show i'm gonna insert the picture of like my the hairstyle or the haircut that i wanted to get i'm gonna insert a picture right now so y'all can see it and so my hair has the potential to do that like i know it can do that but that's not what it looks like right now and it's like, damn, I paid $100 to get my hair cut. And, well, over $100 to get my hair cut. And it's not even exactly how I want it to be. Like, damn. So that kind of irritated me. But I'm like, you know what? It's okay. I might just end up going back and getting it cut again or waiting until it grows out. Or even, <sighs> crazy me, I was thinking about something to do with myself. But then I was like, oh, I don't know how that might go. But I was watching videos of other girls cutting their own curly hair. And they did a good job. And all the videos that I watched, they like walked through everything, you know. They walked through it, everything, and then showed you how to do it step by step. So I was like, you know what? It's not that hard. Like, maybe I could do that. But I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, y'all. Because it's like my hair now is cute and everything. Like, but I wanted more volume, I wanted more shape. I don't know if you guys remembered before in that video where I was bringing y'all to get my diva cut. I was saying how like I want I didn't want them to cut off a lot of length from my hair. But now after I got it done and I seen how it looked and everything, I was like, you know what? I don't even really care about the length. I just want my hair to be bouncy and full. It's summer, you know what I mean? Like I want my hair to be cute. It's cute now, but I know like the potential that my hair has and I want it to get to that type of level. So I don't know, but the girl, she did a good job. Don't get me wrong, like she did a good job. It was just, it's just me. Like I wanted a specific type of cut. And I showed her the picture too, don't get me wrong. But I had told her that I didn't want a lot of um, hair cut off as far as the length goes. So I feel like I kind of messed myself up in that aspect, like damn. Maybe if I told her to, maybe if I just let her do her thing, it would have came out how I wanted it to come out. I don't really know though. But yeah, y'all. You know what else has been on my mind lately? 
Like ever since I graduated high school, I never realized how much I've taken school and just like life in school for granted. Like damn sis, I'm really, I'm a graduate now. I'm a high school graduate. I've been graduated for like a good while, over a year now. And I miss it. Sorry y'all, I'm just trying to figure out which lashes I want to wear today. Maybe I'll just wear these. <sighs> and I miss it. Like, I don't, I, I guess you could say I don't really miss, like, school, doing the work and stuff. But I miss the routine of high school. I miss being able to see my friends every day and, like, you know, that part. And I just miss being, being able to, I don't know, feel like a kid again. You know, because now that I graduated and, like, I'm working full time and I'm still I'm still in college, don't get me wrong, but it's not high school. You know what I mean? Like it's not high school. So that's why I be telling people that it's still in high school or is about to graduate next year cuz I know the graduating class of 2019 just graduated. By the way, congratulations to all of you that graduated. You know, I'm proud. Graduating high school is a big accomplishment despite what people have to say about it, like it's a big accomplishment. Cause I know damn well for me, like there's been a lot of times where I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. I was like, yo, let me watch my language. Like, yo, forget this. Like, I don't wanna do this, like, you know, but I pushed through and I did it. So it's a big accomplishment. Hold up y'all, I gotta put these lashes on and it takes hella concentration, so give me a second. I need a little mirror. So that I could look. By the way, if y'all always see me looking up, it's because I have a mirror behind my camera. So I'm looking at that. And by the way, I have a shirt on. Okay. So I don't got no nobody in the comments. Talk about some, where's your where's your shirt? Where's your clothes? Are you naked? No, I'm not. Y'all, you know what's crazy? I'm still bad at putting on lashes. Like. Yo, this gives me too much anxiety. This gives me way too much anxiety. Where the break is my little teaser thing? I can't find it. Great. I'm already looking a mess. <laughs> My foot falling asleep is cramping up. Oh my God. You know what else y'all? I don't be waiting. Cause you know how you're supposed to wait for the glue on the lash to get tacky. I don't do that. And that's probably why my lashes be coming out. How they be coming out. They be looking good, but damn, they could look better. Oh. just like this i don't care it's like no let me stop guys i need help putting on lashes if you guys have any tips on how to help me be successful with putting on lashes feel free to leave them down below because the lord knows i need it but you know what's crazy um before i used to be a pro at putting on lashes like i used to do them super quick and it used to be so easy for me but then i took a break and i stopped wearing lashes as much so obviously i lost that skill and ever since it's just been super hard it's just been super hard but i got them so it's okay <laughs> but yeah guys so what the hell was we talking about before i stopped to put on these lashes i don't forgot But I just been feeling unmotivated to go to work, unmotivated to go to school, just unmotivated with everything lately. And it's not good. I don't like feeling like this. I don't like feeling like, you know, I'm doing this for no reason because I know that 
in the end it'll all pay off but it's just like damn i need a break i need another vacation so i don't know maybe sometime soon i'll plan something else for me to do probably with my boyfriend when i went to cali it was with my parents and he has never went been on a plane or anything like that so i want to do something nice for him take him somewhere y'all the highlight is like the most important part of the damn makeup look okay yo i promise you guys watch somehow some way these lashes is gonna mess up while i'm at work and i'm gonna be irritated irritated i'm just blending out the highlight so it don't look that like chopped chopped the screw yeah. i always use lip um i said lip i always use brown liner on my own came out terrible okay whatever well, I don't know what lip color I want to do today like how am I feeling today I don't know I might just do this red let me see whatever I don't even care. Y'all like it? <laughs> okay. So the makeup is. Come on. The makeup is done. Y'all see how it's looking? I'm sorry. The lighting where I do my makeup is not the best. So, yeah, we about to go do my hair. So. Let's go in the bathroom. All right, guys. So before I started doing my makeup, I washed my hair and everything like that. So it's fully washed. I don't really know. I love using this. I just got this at TJ Maxx. It's the Nutrient Rich Coconut Oil Curl Cream. It's so good, guys. Like, And I'm so impatient when it comes to doing my hair. Like... I know if you break them up into smaller sections, it's going to look so much better because more curls get the love that they need. Personally, me, my impatient ass, I break it up into two sections and I just run it through like this. <laughs> Y'all see how my highlights are going out? I low-key like it though. Like I don't think I'm going to go back and get them touched up for a little while. Maybe I will like sometime down the line but for right now they look fine to me so now i'm just scrunching my hair like this so that to help my curls form a little bit better <laughs> okay I normally wear my hair in the middle part, so I'm gonna leave it like that for right now. Into this curl cream on it, on this bit. I had this for dumb long, and it has yet to run out. I don't really like to use a lot of this stuff because it's kind of thick, so I just use it towards the bottom of my hair. Ew. And I just rake it through like that just so that my hair is a little bit extra like i said it's hot as hell and this is what the hell you want feel me so sometimes i will let my hair air dry but for today's video purposes and because i gotta go to work i'm just gonna blow dry it <laughs>
under the blow dryer just because I don't. I don't really know. I just never did. I always leave it a little bit damp. I always leave it a little bit damp so that the rest can just dry while I'm out doing my thing. So I'm about to just do my baby hairs real quick. I don't really do much when my hair is down. Like I will OD on my baby hairs when it's up. When my hair is up because you see it more. But when it's down, I just feel like there's no need for you to really do much. I just make it look good enough. I love the little sideburn baby hairs. They look so cute. It's so cute. So, yeah. All right, for my baby hairs, I use Eco Style. And I do is I take an oil, any oil that I have, really. So I'm using this, which is it's by Cadis. It's the um, velvet oil. I'm taking some of that. I take like three pumps, and I just put it in my hair to lock in that moisture and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye.